Libra. So we are in Scorpio season now. We have finished off your season and I hope it was a beautiful season for you. This is your weekly Oracle and Tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Um, if you have not subscribed, please do subscribe. Just click that link below and help the channel grow. And click those bells down below so that you get all the content, notifications when all the content is uploaded. Libra, if you are on a platform that allows for commercial interruptions, there's going to be one in a couple of seconds. Let me explain. That actually is your donation to the channel, and I really appreciate it. It contributes to the health of the channel, and your patience is all it takes. So I will see you right after the commercial break, and there will be no breaks for the rest of the video. Thank you so much for either waiting through that awkward pause or waiting through that commercial break. I appreciate it and I'm glad you're back with me. All right, Virgo, down below in the description box, there's a link to a Vimeo video that is an extended video to this video. It's a full tarot card reading and a romance reading in one. Uh, this is your Oracle card reading for October 25th through the 2nd of November. That's right, we're in full swing into Scorpio season and we are full swing Libra into um, almost November. Like that, yeah, I feel, I feel, I feel, ooh, you see clearly now. There's a truth that's coming in. There's a message that's coming in. There's clarity that you're receiving of something that was held back from you. This reminds me of my daily tarot card reading. I'm gonna put that above. Look for that link above um, to the daily tarot card reading because this could have a lot to do with you guys. I mean, just because of the fact that I was going to do the uh, readings in the same day, your energy could have come through loud and clear. So there's a lot of messages coming out for you, Libra. I just want to give one more, finish this shuffle to see where we're at. Okay. Libra, Libra, Libra. So the, the energy crowning your reading is owl spirit you see clearly now. Now remember, this is seeing clearly in the dark. So this is a good omen for you guys entering Scorpio season. This is you being able to see the truth even though we're going into the underworld. It isn't easy to see in the dark. It takes a lot of wisdom and it takes keen eyesight and it takes a higher perspective. And I think that you guys have that higher perspective. You have that, you have that higher calling to justice for all type of thing. You have that higher calling to um, tell the truth even at your own detriment or at your own expense. You really want everything to work out for the better. And you are able most of the time to put yourself second. And that is a very good energy to be going into the underworld with because if you are s selfish or corrupt, that's going to sink you down deeper. These are the clear eyes that you're gonna be able to see through throughout the, throughout the rest of this week. Why does that matter? It matters because there's gonna be a lot of stuff coming up because Mercury has entered Scorpio as well. Uh, Mercury retrograde, I believe. So, so Libra, for you guys this week, what that means is a lot of truth is bubbling up to the surface. A lot of things that you didn't understand, you'll be able to understand now. And I feel like this is something that you needed. It's almost like a gift from spirit, spirit guiding you to a place where, <gasps> Sorry about that brief interruption, I apologize. Um, something that you had not, yeah, something that you had not been able to understand. Maybe it's not even something that was hidden from you. Maybe it was just something that was confusing you and conflicting, holding you back because you needed to, to understand something intricately. You needed something articulated to you. You didn't, you, you were almost held back by your lack of comprehension from something. And now this week, there's like the aha moment is coming. When you realize what's really happening, what's going on, and you see a way through, maybe it's directing you into the way of the way forward, a way through all the crap and the craziness, a way to avoid issues or problems. Because Owl has wisdom to them, Libra. And this is you being able to see or help others see how to avoid issues that they could run into, things that will sink them things that will drag them down into the trenches, into the depths, into their deaths, 
essentially you are taking that higher perspective and have that clarity of vision to be able to see how to not get yourself caught up in those things this energy also came out it came out face up and i pay attention to it because most of the cards come out face down and this was a little bit on its side a little bit wonky and how the cards are delivered to me tells me things as well so this means that you're a little bit guarded emotionally in company with the owl spirit what that tells me is there is something that you were defending yourself against or something that you um or almost pushing against or fighting against because it, it didn't it didn't feel right to you like like there was in other words you needed clarity because something felt off and something felt wrong you're on the defensive and maybe you went on the defensive and that was why you were exploring and seeking this knowledge was because if it didn't feel right to you you weren't gonna settle on it not feeling right you needed to understand things deeper and thank God you're getting that clarity because I do think it affected you emotionally in a way that um, isn't very you like you know you you not were striking out but you were shutting down you were closing off you were giving up hope this could also be you having decided to give up on something and now it's coming back and you're understanding the circumstances a little bit better is giving you that renewed hope or renewed faith and just enough to turn this card around to make you swim with your emotions and feel good about the circumstance that you're in. Let's get into the other cards though because a lot poured out for you. We have the miracles are endless. So this is a great card to have, right? Let's see what's accompanying it though. I just want to see. Um, so the miracles are endless. That means that there is bounty coming in for you this week. The clarity is going to actually offer you a, a one step up, uh, some, some ability to move on or move through or earn more money. Um, break through an idea, like get out of writer's block type of thing. This is um, sort of your divine reward from Scorpio season, I think, to say, here's my blessing to you for doing the right thing, for karma being, you know, for, for being so karmically correct. For, for in other words, ka like karma's coming around to reward you during Scorpio season. Time for a deep dive. Now, this is you. This is your card. Um, it's about balance. It's about love. It's about hope. It's about bounty. Um, the two of these coming together. There is somebody that you either had your eyes on or had their eyes on you I feel like there is going to be clarity in terms of a romantic situation for you. You not understanding or comprehending why somebody was upset with you, why somebody was hurt, or why they didn't choose you. There's, um, there was a hang up, uh, an under, like a lack of understanding when it came to a romantic situation. And you are going, that's where the clarity is going to come in this week. That's getting juicy. Clear out the clutter interesting the abundant universe will provide you have all these blessings coming in for you libra i don't want you to be scared sometimes life stings that's why i want to hold back on the message until all these cards come out because they were pouring out for you Life is a mystery. Yeah, someone had a mask. Time to let go. You're going into the underground. You're digging up the dirt. In other words, this is not time to let go. This is time to get dirty so that you can comprehend it and understand what's going on. Take time out and then learn from the past. All right. Libra, the universe is on your side. It may not have felt like it, but the universe is on your side. And it is providing you the clarity to somebody to understand why things have been going the way that they've been going. Somebody hurt you. There was a partner that disappointed you, a prospect that disappointed you. Somebody chose something over you, something, somebody 
um, like passed by you. Like, it's almost like it's almost like you were wearing a mask for a long time to make somebody else, to appease somebody else. And now you're not doing it anymore. And it's a great deal of liberation that comes with this new stance in life, new uh, way of deciding how to be. But it's also, this week, I feel like it's also somehow... It's almost like somehow somebody is stinging back. It's almost like somebody that is still wearing a mask, is still is still not being honest with the circumstances, their circumstances. They're being defensive. This person is being defensive. There's somebody from your past. There's somebody that's been in your life for quite some time. There's somebody that keeps throwing up the past to you because they don't want to they don't want to move on. They're angry about something that you did to them, so they keep digging up what happened or the past or, but you did this and you said this, but you did this and you said this and you're really not having it. It may hurt to let this person go, but you're really not having their presence in your life. You really, um, you ain't got time for that. That's, that's basically it. Like your new stance and where you are and how you're feeling with your life right now, you've almost worked out your priorities you've worked out your loyalties in other words it's like you tried to keep everybody happy but that backfired on you and instead of constantly being sh you know you know pooped all over when somebody when somebody's disappointed in you you're like i'm not going to be a toilet this month i'm going to do what makes me happy and let them be as angry as they want to be that's what's going on it's like you the what the clarity is coming on your priorities, on what you really, really care about this week. And you're letting go of all the old kind of connections or karmic partnerships or interactions where basically um, you had to be somebody that you weren't to please somebody else. It is going to hurt a little bit, the fact, because you don't like when people are disappointed in you. So people are going to be, somebody specifically is going to be disappointed in you. Um, that will sting, but it will not sting enough to over, like over, um, overwhelm this feeling that you have of finally being free and not being heavy. Your life, there's an abundance coming in and I think it's like a renewal and a refreshment of you being able to understand what's really important to you. And that's where the abundance is coming in. It's like happy home, happy life, health, happiness, prosperity. All of those things are coming to you. And I have a feeling like it's bittersweet because you did have to let somebody go in order to make your life really happy. And they're very angry about it. You may have broken up with somebody. But the fact that your card is here on the table and the heart is beating strong, yeah, I feel like you did. I, I feel like there's, there's probably a breakup that happened, but it happened because of you. It happened because whatever, whatever, maybe because the person shut down and closed off and wasn't honest with you emotionally, and that was too much for you to bear. Um, it was too burdensome. Like everything ended up being your fault or they were always defensive. They would never really believe or just be able to let things go or they always wanted to stay in one place and never wanted to try new things. They kind of expected the abundance to come to them. And for you, that didn't work. It, it, that, that energy had to be unloaded for new energy almost like a fresh start to come into your life for you to experience all the abundance that wants to come into you and wants to be yours. But somebody here is still not going to be happy with you and they're going to this week continue to strike out towards you, continue to scream at you, continue to yell at you, continue to text you, continue to throw things up to your face. Um, you're, you, you know, you're not, you're, 
it's not going to sway you. And that's very un-Libra. But I have to say, that's very mature Libra. Because mature Libras have worked out how to be able to accept that some people aren't going to be happy with them. And if they're not going to be happy with them, then that's their problem, not yours. And you're moving on for the best for your, for your best self, to live your best life. There was so much of this message here. So I'm going to flip the camera angle around so we can review the cards. Hold on. So here you go, Libra. They start, like I told you, there was a lot, there was a lot, the message was huge for you this week. But I think it has to deal with you and then them. Somebody who's a real bear, real bear, real intense could be earth sign, could be air sign, lots of different signs it could be, but a real intense like throwing things up from the past and saying, well, you owe me for this reason. You can't hurt me like this. You can't treat me like this. This was wrong. This was, this was right according to you for so long. And now you're saying it's different. And you're like, yeah, now I'm saying it's different. Like that's sort of your response to them. Yeah. Not, yeah. You heard me clearly. And I'm taking out the garbage. I'm cleaning it up. You may have been dealing with a Cancerian or you may have just been holding on to these emotions for so long inside of yourself, bottling them, bottling them, bottling, bottling them so this other person could continue to be happy. So it makes sense, Libra, that this person is angry because for so long they sort of ate away at your energy or depended upon you not being who you really were. And, you know, they might not have done this maliciously. This could have been partially your fault. Like you were suppressing in order to make them happy or appease them. You were not saying what you really felt or who you really were. You really weren't expressing yourself to your fullest capacity or in the most honest way. And that's why the sting is coming out now. You could be dealing with a Scorpio as well. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like this is just Scorpio season. But yeah, it hurts to let go of something. Libra, that's what you're experiencing. It hurts to have something um, turned turned upside down. See, it's you're clearing out the clutter, but and you're but but it's like you're not. It, yeah, you know, you're letting go, but it's like you're letting go after digging up all of the shit. After digging up, it's almost like you're spewing it. You're saying, "I know how you remember things, but this is how I remember them." And it wasn't good for me. And this, yeah, it's like this person is the one that's not letting go. You're letting go. This person is not letting go. And they're going to keep watching you and wondering. And honestly, I'm not really sure that they're sincere or they know who they really are. What this card is telling me is they're not willing to take responsibility for their behavior. They're just being extremely defensive, extremely aggressive and accusatory. And they're constantly throwing up the past to you. That's what's going on. You, on the other hand, you're being a little bit defensive too. You're protecting yourself and you don't care if you have to lash out with words at this point because it's almost like they're putting you in a situation or a circumstance where you don't, you don't, you feel like you're backed into a corner. You don't have a choice. You know, normally you wouldn't raise your voice. You wouldn't swear. You wouldn't lose your cool, but they're, they're pushing you and let them push you. Maybe that's what needs to happen in order for this ending to be final. Because you see the way through, you see exactly everything that was happening and you finally speaking up about it. If they're not happy about it, you could care less. It's almost like you've leveled up, you're wiser now and you're settled and you're happy with yourself. You've got your priorities worked out. And because your priorities are worked out and your focus is on maybe new people or other people or a new part of your life, you're not going to back down because you backing down would let, let this, this new life of yours or these new choices of yours, it would let them down. So it's almost like your loyalties have shifted, Libra, from this old, these old people to this, this new way of thinking, way of being. This could be a shift in jobs, a chain in re, change in resources and the employer not being happy that you decided or took so long to tell them that you were leaving, right? Because you didn't want to sort of passive aggressively. You didn't want to tell them that you were leaving because you didn't want to, um, you didn't want to upset them. But what ended up upsetting them was knowing, finding out at the last minute and not being able to replace you. Maybe you left somebody in a lurch. It's not going to deter you from moving on. This is part of your past. As loud as it yells and as much as it hurts you and makes you feel bad. In other words, somebody is, if this is a somebody, they're trying to make you feel bad this week. 
because you've made them feel bad and they're they're the kind of person i guess it's a little bit immature energy where if they if they, if they feel bad you're going to feel bad bottom line If you've hurt them, then they're going to hurt you. It's that's it's just a very immature energy, not on your part. On your part, the immature energy was holding back for so long. You know, to a certain degree, this is justified anger, but they're not dealing with it in a correct way, right? They're de dealing with it in a very spiteful way. But at the same time, you know, had you told them early on, had had you told them the truth, had you not been so concerned about them being upset, they wouldn't be as upset. As they are now so the lesson here and and sort of the wisdom that's gained from this situation is be honest all the time like like and it's not like you tried to be dishonest but the truth is this you've been feeling these feelings for quite some time this is an old energy and you haven't shared it and the reason why you didn't share it because you wanted to make peace you wanted everybody to care about you love you like you approve of you well that's done You've carried a lot. You let a lot build up inside of you to make, to appease the crowd. And now this month it's too much and you're just letting it all out. Okay. But they were under the impression that everything was okay because you helped to reinforce that everything was okay. So that's sort of still the energy that you're dealing with this week. However, there's going to be a big backlash from this person. So if you haven't heard from this person or this situation, this job, whatever it is, if you haven't heard from them, you will probably be hearing from them over this week with words of disappointment, maybe um, accusations, um, anger, uh, upset. You're going to sort of get their backlash. And I feel like you are going to like lash back. I do. I feel like there might be a fight in the works because when elephant meets bear, it's a, it can be a pretty, it could be a pretty intense conflict. So be on the lookout for that. Let's see how you will make it through this conflict. Um, and we'll also do your romance reading over on Vimeo. I'll see you there.